And CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Major Garrett is in Jacksonville, Florida. Good enough to join us uh, this morning. And again, Major, uh, yesterday uh, Donald Trump uh, attacked President Obama for that cash transfer to Iran that happened as American hostages were released from the country. And he referred again to that top secret video that he seemed to know a, a lot about, uh, saying uh, that there were people uh, that were seen taking money off of a plane. But all the reporting uh, thus far has not supported uh, that idea. Uh, what have uh, you heard, if nothing else, from the campaign itself? <laughs> Well, not only, Josh, does the reporting not support what the campaign through its candidate has said, there is no evidence whatsoever that such a video even exists. After persistent requests of the Trump campaign, finally, my producer Arden Fari got an answer from the campaign linking us to a piece of video, which we checked and checked and checked and checked. The video is of U.S. hostages landing in Geneva. It is most certainly not of cash landing in Iran, which is what Donald Trump said it was. So you have a candidate ref referencing something he saw on television that isn't what he thinks it is and telling supporters it is what he thinks it is, not what it actually is. Every day I say this, Josh, covering the Trump campaign is an experience like nothing else. <laughs> Uh, Major, you are obviously there in Florida. The top issue uh, for people up and down uh, both coasts uh, is the Zika virus and, and the threat that it poses. And still, after holding an event in Jacksonville, we understand, uh, at least to this point, that Donald Trump has no plans uh, to combat uh, the burgeoning outbreak there or really ideas on how to release federal funds uh, to get that started. What can you tell us? We asked the Trump campaign before this trip to Florida, hey, We'd like to talk to Trump about Zika and a lot of other issues, but it's Florida. It's a hugely important swing state, not just by my experience covering presidential campaigns, but Donald Trump says that all the time. So in this very important swing state, we'd like to talk to the candidate and learn what his plans are about Zika. The campaign said, we have nothing for you on that. Nothing. And then Trump did a very brief interview with a local television station, a CBS affiliate, where he said Governor Rick Scott should decide everything and that he's got the situation under control and when asked specifically should congress come back as it's on recess now for the summer break and pass extra federal funding for zika and all the related efforts to combat it trump said well that's up to governor scott actually it's not it's up to the president and republican leaders of the house and senate so not only does trump have no plans for zika he appears to be fundamentally misunderstanding who's in charge of the funding, doesn't even understand that Governor Scott has repeatedly asked for more federal funding and how that might actually be accomplished. So on Zika in a swing state, the Trump campaign is absent without leave. And Major, uh, in covering this campaign, uh, sometimes you are given any number of stories about the same thing. Uh, that is certainly the case right now with regards to unity within the campaign itself. The candidate says, and I quote, uh, it's the best in terms of unity that it's been since it began, end quote. There are several reports, however, that say that his uh, campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, is on autopilot. Staffers are suicidal. Presumably, that's uh, euphemistic, uh, but what is your sense of this uh, apparent disconnect? Well, there's never been a particularly elaborate communications channel between the Trump campaign in New York and its state directors and all those who are trying to labor on behalf of the Trump campaign across the country. It's my sense that those communications are even less frequent and less specific now than they were before, which means people don't know what the direction is. The phrase I keep hearing is lack of focus lack of focus from the top of the campaign about the fundamentals of preparing at the state level for voter outreach, voter contact, voter persuasion, to have a schedule of traveling for Trump that makes sense, to have a message that makes sense, to have a message that surrogates who are willing to can adequately and enthusiastically amplify. Now, I know a lot of voters hear all this and they just consider it to be campaign double talk insider speak for people who have spent their lifetimes obsessing about how campaigns work or don't work. And they frequently tell me, we don't care about that. Trump is different. Can't you figure that out? Trump doesn't need to do all that standard stuff. Maybe not. But those who have experience running for president and actually electing presidents believe at some level he does. 
his lack of interest in this is beginning to show and the declining poll numbers, which are now, Josh, a trend. There are trend lines since the Democratic convention that do not augur well for Trump and his future in this campaign. Can poll numbers be reversed? Absolutely. I had a conversation with former House Speaker Newt Gingrich yesterday, who's been very critical of Trump, but says it's reversible. He can weather this storm. He has to get more disciplined because, as Gingrich told me, in a generation or an era of Pokemon Go, nothing lasts and the country resets itself mentally every 60 days. Well, waiting on a, a, na a national mental reset may be a strategy for Trump, but it's not one those close to him are most comfortable with. Well said. Major Garrett in Jacksonville, Florida, we do thank you. You got it.